So, you know, as I was preparing for this panel, I was thinking that this is a really great time to be having a conversation about law enforcement and genetic data, because both elements of this, both the DNA and the law enforcement has kind of been at the center of a lot of conversations about how we talk about it in society, but also how we as journalists should be covering it. So there is a real immense power behind genetic genealogy. It can really help us to identify these violent criminals and to provide names to the deceased individuals uh, that have been waiting for years and decades in some cases. But with this immense power becomes, uh, comes responsibility. We have to treat this tool with uh, in responsible ways and ethical ways. Uh, if we do not follow best practices, it could slip out of our hands and we could lose this tool. We could lose public trust.